Hello, hello. Why do we? Oh, there we go. We have a game now. Hello. Hello. So welcome back to not a horror game tonight. Yeah, I was Something actually different. just thinking before. Like, wait a second, is this even a horror game? It is not. Mm. It is a murder mystery. Well, I think it's a mur murder mystery. It's like a mystery, at least. Kind of almost. I wouldn't know if I'd classify it as a puzzle game. I guess it's kind of a puzzle game. Seems a bit off-brand. Meh. Ooh, we're mixing it up. We're mixing. I was going to say we're mixing it up for 2022, but it's not quite. Not even. That year yet. So yeah. Um, but yeah, this one just seemed interesting, and I was going to play it on my own, but then I thought you might like it, so. Welcome back. We can. Uh, we can see how it goes. If you're not into it, I'll play say, it on see my how own. Picky I am. Yeah. Hello there, Nefarious Mole. Welcome back. How are you doing? I think you say it nefarious. 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 <sighs> Depends where you're from, I guess. Even though we're all from the same country, but... I was going to say, I don't think I've heard someone say nefarious. <laughs> well, now you have. Um, but yeah, this one seems interesting. It seems kind of simple. Uh, basically, from what I know, I did have a little play with it earlier. Um, you basically, like, go through footage of basically an interrogation of someone mm. um, and you can search through the footage uh, every part of the footage has like uh, what would you call it the uh, what's it called not a script the dialogue tied to each clip sorry that music is really loud can we please turn it down I was yeah. trying to listen to you and it got really distracting yeah maybe I'll turn this down a little bit I think it's probably going to be fine once we get into it but um, yes, you were saying? Did you finish this sentence? I did not. Um, yeah, so the dialogue is basically like the transcript. Transcript. That's yeah. the word I need. Um, is basically searchable, so you can use any keywords to search the database of like the recordings based it on any like of the transcript. In the trailer or something that you showed me. I think that's still loud. Can I, how do I turn it down? Thank you. Um, it looked like you could add tags so you might not necessarily yeah. be able to search every oh i guess you can, you can search, search. Every word in the transcript but yeah because you might get you know loads of results once you well, find things you could tag it as like that's something thing. helpful specifically the so way the way it works is you like you might get 40 results for a specific word that you search but it will only give you the five most recent results that's so right. you have to try to narrow down wait i mean they'll show us this emphasize what you're searching for to get further into what you're looking up but yeah I don't know, sort of. So, cool with our concept. own tags, I wonder if it only shows the last five. Um, not sure how that works. We shall see, I suppose. Anyway. Yeah. It'll tell us how to play the game. I don't like the font that's used for start. Start. It's a very standardized font. Standard freehand oh, font. Seamus running. Seamus coming. He's seen something it's out the like window. Something's outside. It's probably his cat friend slash not really his friend, but he thinks they're his friend. Can I have a look? If you want to. Um, I thought it was going to be a person. <laughs> out. We got no music now, so that's good. No loud, loud music. Um, but yeah, one moment. Oh, yeah. it is a cat. Which one is it? Black and white. Oh, that's the one he was playing with yesterday. Or well, trying to play with, and the black and white cat was not impressed. Cat door's open, right? Yep. <laughs> we might get a visitor. Well, the black and white cat's going away. Oh, Seymour, well, your friend's leaving. Okay, well, let's just get started anyway. Let's get started. Oh, you left the... You killed the mood with the sun oh, coming in. <laughs> Not that this is a horror game, so it doesn't really matter, but... Um, but yeah. I thought... It, I played a little bit earlier, just to see what it was like, and I thought it was pretty cool. But it depends... What you think, I guess. So this is basically what we have to work with, with the computer system. We can search anything. Um, there is some readmes. Introduction to oh, okay. the Logic Database. Computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. The Logic Database is one of the many continuing efforts to digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be the most valuable item in your crime fighting toolkit. The database contains footage transferred from the existing Homicide and Serious Crime Tape Archive at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using our ASR technology 
Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. Audio has been digitally stenographed and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in a word into the search field, click search, and the database will return all clips in which the speaker uses that word. All clips? Yep. Okay. To narrow a search, use multiple words. Uh, if you're working from a printed transcript, you can be even more precise. Use inverted commas to search for an exact match against the entire statement. Uh, to store a clip for later, reference add to session. If you wish additional tags with your own to help you to search this, please click in the user tags box and type in desired tags. I think Pretty it's just Portsmouth, not like Portsmouth. Oh, sorry. No, I'm um, just saying it because it might come up again. Hey, here's the database. I filed a freedom of information form to get you guest access. Everything <laughs> seems to work. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guest access, sure. It's going to let you in the database. Um, they transferred the video tape, the videos off the original tapes in 1999, and then the Y2K thing hit, and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97. But figured this would be enough. Take your time. Whoever SB is. So wait, can we read things? Because those say read me and really read me. That's what I just read. Oh, those were the two things. Yeah. Okay, sorry, so I, didn't that was what, I didn't see what you clicked. That thing, yeah. We got a clock. What's in the rubbish bin? Someone might have deleted something thinking, uh, There's hack. a hack. <laughs> I've already looked at these, but. Oh, well, I haven't. Grace hack. Mirror game. I think it's just for like, one for the mums here. Yeah? It's for this <laughs> game you can play in okay. here. Mirror game. Which is a game I know of, but I can't remember what it's called. This looks like, uh, that, not Minecraft. What's it called? Minecraft. Minesweep. Minesweeper. Look like Minesweeper. Um, Re Reversi? Is it called Reversi? What? I feel like they had this game in Aliens and it was called like Reversi or something. Okay. But it has another name, which I cannot I've remember not heard right of now. Any of these. Well, we're not going to bother with that. We know time for that. All right, so we have murder. Murder is the word that is in here. So wait, the way with. they're talking is like. Sorry, I can't stop yawning. Oh, uh, the way they're talking is like we've been. We've come here to look at a specific case. Yes, we have. But we don't, as a player, we don't know what that case is. No, we don't. Because, to be honest, the, fir the first term I would search would be, like, the person's name. Well, murder is what we have to start with. <laughs> we don't know anything about the case at this point. Which is weird, because the, we've been the given character murder. does. I don't mind that we don't as a player, but if the character knows, it's weird. Anyway. The character knows, but we don't know what the character knows. So. But we are the character. Yeah, but, you know, it's this is part of it. It's fine. All right, so we can search murder. That's what was in when we booted it up. So that's kind of like our starting point. So we get four results. Only four entries, for and it's all the same person. Wow, they are. Well, they're... it's obviously just this case that they've got the so. data from. It's been. Uh, sp what was that? Was that a seagull? Seymour. Oh, Seymour. Oh. All right, we're going to watch them. Now, they do have dates on them, I noticed. So 27th of the 694. I can't even read that. First of the seventh, so I think these are in chronological order when okay. they come up, as far as I can tell. The last two look like they're on the same day. Yeah, so these will be on the same day. Well, they are on the same day. Only like 30 seconds, no, half an hour apart, roughly. 30 seconds apart. Well, some of them are that really? far apart, because if it's just taking them from keywords, it might just be like a small oh. portion of an interview, and then it's kind of divided well, up. Well, that means someone clipped them, that's weird. Anyway. Okay, so we can watch the first one. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? It's the first okay, one. that was odd. Someone's been murdered. Uh, the even the what can I do to help was very quick. Mm. Um, bit too a bit weird. Well, I think she's the sp main suspect. So. Well, I assume, yeah. Yeah. All right, another one. She's in different clothes. She's in the same interview room. Interview empty room three. I don't know if we have to be that observant, yeah. but. That's me. But I pray and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Simon. Simon. All right. Okay, so, we know so Simon 
was murdered not in February. Probably in what month was that video? Uh, this is like, what's that? July. July. That's the 1st of July. So let's say June ish. Oh, wait, what did she say? Yeah, that's me. But February, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Yeah, okay. Yeah, presumably she's being interviewed after the murder, and if it's the 1st of July, I'm going to guess it's June ish. Yes. Alright. Only two days later. Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Okay, so telling us she's the suspect. Uh huh. I'd like to speak to the lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon, you have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. So that's weird, because what does, like... Uh, the lawyer bit, I feel like people always act, like in TV and stuff, like if you ask for a lawyer, it's like, you're guilty. Uh, but from everything I've seen, from like lawyers lawyer on Twitter up. or whatever, yep. Just like if you what was that one no self snitching that guy <laughs> yeah yeah i wasn't even thinking of that guy but if even if you're completely innocent and doing absolutely nothing don't talk to police without a lawyer because mm. police will fuck you over she does seem a little sus though i agree she, well the stories bit was weird yeah which i guess is the point okay so we could look we could search for simon we could search for february I'd we could search, search simon. for that would be my... As I said, my first thing was to search for a name, and I couldn't. I think this will give us a lot of results. Okay, 61. 61, access limited to first five. Okay, well, let's start So these that. are in the earliest chronological order. So there'll be more down the line, but we can't see them until we narrow our field. Innocent people tend to get really angry, upset. She's super calm. Yeah, it can go either yeah. way, though. I mean, I haven't studied this. It, like, you might be refer referencing something, but I feel like it's sometimes a stereotype where someone is calm and then everyone's like like why isn't she upset her husband just died and mm. get real like there's know, also that case weird about it and and it's actually like well some people go into full like just calm and like yeah because you've got to just focus on okay we've got to organize the funeral we've got to do this blah, 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 blah. well there's that case that we watched the study of um for the interrogation tapes or interview tapes, or whatever you mm -hmm. want to call them, of the guy who was wrongfully accused of like robbing that store, remember? And he was like fully he innocent. He was so calm. And he just knew it. he'd done nothing wrong. So he was like super calm through the whole thing. He was like, well, you know, I'm telling you I'm not guilty. He, I do think he was a, an exception. Yeah, he was a bit of an situation. exception. I think the, the guy even said that. Hello, Bourne. And welcome back, Bourne. I hope you had a good lunch yesterday. Sorry, the, the uh, stream was probably not super interesting when you came. We were stuck on a puzzle for like 15 years. But we did get past it. So, we made progress. Alright. Seen that one too, yeah. Do you know, annoyingly, I'm not thinking of a real example, but I'm thinking of um, Gone Girl. Because... What's that one again? That's the movie. It's where she goes... Well, she presumed murdered, and so everyone thinks the husband killed her because she framed him. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's not a spoiler. That happens right at the beginning. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's some bits where he kind of, you know, he acts calm or he acts a bit goofy because well, how do you know how to act when that happens? Yeah, you know? everyone, yeah, everyone's different. Yeah. So I don't really, her acting calm, I'm, not that I think this is going to be super realistic, but obviously the whole point is that it's going to make you think, oh, she's being like dodgy, but mm. then that seems like a trap, but then it's too obvious to go well then she's clearly innocent yeah so you know you're gonna go around 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 i think i saw on youtube there was someone it wasn't the channel we watch for like the interrogation um not reactions what would you call it like breakdowns breakdowns for this game but i haven't watched it obviously because i didn't play this yet so i didn't want i didn't want spoilers but i thought that would be kind of interesting to watch to see like what they thought of the way that they portray so it's like experts reacting to I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure oh, yeah. I saw something okay, about cool. it. It fell into eating coma. That's fine. That's all good. No worries. 
No worries. And this is not actually a horror game. Strangely, we're doing horror stream without a horror game tonight. This is just one we wanted, it's to, a murder, I wanted to check out. It's a murder game. It's horror adjacent. It's got murder, I guess, so it's kind of horror. Yeah. Um, but it's like a it's like a detective-y murder mystery one where you have to use a database and watch videos and try to piece together what's happened. Um, but yeah, we're just, we're just checking it out, see what it's like. We might not do it going forward on the horror stream. We'll see. We have got another one lined up that is horror, so... Mm. On Windows 3.1. Yeah. It basically looks like that. Oh, the it? database at my old work basically looked like this. Damn. It was ancient. Okay, well, let's watch this one. This was searching for Simon. Simon. Simon Smith. Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. Mm -hmm. So Simon Smith. Okay, I just remembered you wanted me to write notes. Oh, you can write notes. Yeah, good idea. Because I want, we're not going to remember necessarily that we've searched Simon, but only saw the first videos. So we're going to want to note that. Well, we have Simon. We have well, we have Simon oh, Smith. Oh, I wrote a note to you on this. You did write a note to me. I didn't remember writing that. Um, so Simon Smith. We have February. Well, but I'm still trying to find a. Oh wait, is this a? Yeah, it's all different. Oh. So I kind of just started where it's. Yeah, I didn't well, realize I had a diary bit at the beginning. Okay. Should be something blank. I mean, I've got in. plenty of note paper. I don't know if all there was MP. Okay. Um, that's a good question, actually. I don't know what kind of video okay. formats existed in again? Her story. 1994. Maybe it did. We're gonna. Have, I'm gonna have to look that up. Actually, I'm. I'm curious. If this is historically accurate or not. Okay, we're writing notes. Um, I'm gonna just play this one again. Oh, oh yeah. Oh wait, I need to write notes from that. I'm not Sorry. up for yet. Simon Smith. Well, we just said Simon Smith. Smith. Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Okay, what I wanted was, it, was it Ernst Simon. Brothers? Uh, Ernst Brothers, Brothers glass. glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Okay. Even Simon's I existed, barely. Mirror making, <laughs> feature windows. I partially existed. You existed. I like how you're older than me and you were hesitant to be like, oh, it was more good. 94, yeah, you were 94. <laughs> um, okay. Next. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. He's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo. They said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. Rome, maybe? So wait, six foot dark blonde hair, clean shaven because of a ginger beard. I feel like I missed something in between there. That's probably enough. Oh, it was I don't something know about build. What'd she say about his build? I don't know if we need to be um, super average. Yeah, average I know, but hair, I'm build. usually pretty You're good at writing super notes. Detective. So. All right, that's fine. All right, next one. I'm guessing this is a cold case. It hasn't actually, if this is already yeah, solved, the perfect point. Like, so I'm assuming the goal being, is to say, uh, to solve it. Uh, I'm sure it mentioned it being a cold case or something. It said it got mothballed, which I assume means it got put on a shelf and left. Yeah. Um, I mean, the evidence can get mothballed and the case still get solved. But again, yeah. the, the presumption is that it's a cold case. Yeah, I think the goal is to just find out whether she did it or not, I think. There might be more to it than that, I'm not sure. But basically what you can do is you can search for terms that are mentioned in these videos, and it will give you however many results there are, so 61 we've got. But the trick is that you can only see the first five entries, so you have to kind of narrow down your search results with having more specific search terms. So we're kind of just getting started here, so... We're doing some very simple search search terms. Very calm because I guess if I have an interview at eight something p.m. I would go mad. What is that? I'd yeah, probably be yawning because it's what eight something p.m. now, and I've just been yawning. That's true. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. Rockington Arms. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with, and the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. 
It was what was it? Rockington Arms. Rockington Arms. I wrote Perter. Peter. <laughs> Perter. I'll play it again. I was, got it. There was some, oh, did you get the names? The yep. Arms. Peter, Susan, Helen. Sweet. Rockington Arms. Very good. Okay. Uh, next one. Yes. There's an abstract one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. Amstrad computer. computer. Yeah. Uh, save the princess. That kind of thing. Interesting. I just wrote Amstrad for that and right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's evil. It's because of the Amstrad, is that why? Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? So that sounds like he's missing at that point. That's mm. that was June. Oh, Those videos yeah. were June. And they the didn't say because he she was saying like, you know, must have he wouldn't just do something crazy. So that makes it sound like they don't know what's happened to him. Whereas later like they say person, murder. Yeah. yeah. So he was obviously just missing at this point. Mm. So wait, I'm just gonna make a note. Missing in June. We could try found dead in July. Oh wait. Ish. Ish, yeah. We could try searching his full name. Uh, yes, so I've written down possible search what was terms. It? Simon, Simon Smith. Smith. One in. I've oh, already watched that one. Okay. okay. So that's Just, relevant. You could search Smith. Irrelevant. Okay. Oh, we've got two new ones. Oh. It's like a lie detector. Yeah. Got a new page. My name is Hannah. Hannah! H A N N A H. It's Palindrome. They read the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work for merit though, it's not quite symmetrical, but well, I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Mm, Gladstone Street could be maybe something. Okay, well. Hannah Montana. It was yeah. pretty obvious she was probably the wife, but now we, you know, that's more. Con I mean, could be sister, yeah, but you or, know. Or, yeah, girlfriend or. No, Hannah Smith. Oh, was that her last? Sorry, I totally missed that. Yeah. Well, Wait, what was the full address? Uh, 31, I think. My name is Hannah. We probably don't need to be that specific, but... Hannah's okay. Right, we got a yeah. new one. Looks interesting. When is this one from? This is from... Also, I feel like my, my July. notes aren't... I'm just scribbling stuff. That's fine, right? Yeah, that's right. Because if I if I was it. actually doing a case, I would be putting these into much more neat... Um, Didn't get the joke. I, it wasn't really a joke. It's like a... It's a not... She was... Jerome's like a... It's like a... I guess it's, it's like a sp more English thing. Of English language. Uh, no, well, well, any language, any, really. Any, any language. Was it English? English it wasn't term, a joke. She was just saying that, that it is a palindrome. Yeah. So spell. So Bob is a pan palindrome. So it reads the same Race way backwards as it does forwards. Palindrome. Yeah. Okay. Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, that kind of seemed like she was trying to make it go a bit wrong while seeming innocent. But I think they do that, right? When they, they're the first to like almost like no, no, but you it. just say yes or no. I think, uh, is, yeah. but then oh, she maybe that's why, repeated yeah. it and then being like, oh, oh no, I did it wrong. Oh, is your result wrong? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. okay, so we searched Simon Smith and Smith. Um, mm -hmm. Do we just want to go down the list, or do we want to do names first? Do you want to search um, her name? Maybe? I feel like we want to be yeah, kind of specific. I think her Anna. name would be a good lead. Oh no, no, we'd definitely be specific, but I mean, we've just got many things to choose from. Yeah. Yeah, I think Anna. Okay. Fell out of bed fifteen minutes ago. That's all good. That's all good. No worries. Okay, we got we got three new ones. We got some new clothes. Still missing at this point. Mm. What are you doing talking about Eve? 
Eve. Eve. Daughter. Was that Morse code or something? I wonder if that it's is It's definitely something. Might be a song. Mm. They might reference the song later. Okay, well, Eve seems important. Yeah. She's evil and crazy. I think that was the most uh, normal video, yeah. to be honest. She's stressed. Okay, these ones look like they're... Okay, so they come after the lie detector. This is when she already knows he's murdered. Yes. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. The midwife what? was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. Oh wait, they're twins? The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Mm. Okay, so... Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, that was weird. There's like a person in the screen. What? You missed it. I did miss it. it like, the lights flickered and then there was like a... I guess it was our silhouette. Uh -huh. Like the, the characters on the computer silhouette. Um, so, we, so Hannah appears to be a twin. And not all the videos we've seen... are Hannah then. Hmm. Do I think we want to start labeling these as Hannah and Twin until we know the twin's yes, name? Yes, that's probably a good idea. Uh, these, you mean? Yes. So we put this in as Twin. And then the previous, like, if we end up finding Does the that work. Yes. yes. Right. If we end up finding the the name. No, no. If we go back to our previous videos, um, we can just add Twin because we know that. If we actually Twin. True. White shirt. White shirt, uh, July. Yeah. No camera on is kind of crazy or just, or just dumb. Yeah. Hannah. So oh. blue shirt, we don't know. Uh, well, she Oh, wait, no, it's blue Hannah, shirt Hannah, when she Hannah. said... Hannah, Yeah, sorry. The other one was the one I was talking about. So she was, I'm assuming, referring to herself. Yeah, that's not the, the video I was referring to. Oh, okay. The, yeah. the other one where it was really blue. Later. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of people seem to just not realize there's cameras on them, which is kind of stupid. I've seen a few okay, interrogation things where people act like so a lot of them are like when they're trying to pass off being crazy and they'll think act in... like totally normal when no one's in the room. And as soon as someone walks in, they start acting like there's something like, you know, they're a little, they're a little crazy, but like, obviously they don't realize there's a camera on them the whole time. So they can just see that they're like putting on an act. What month was that light blue one? Uh, that's no, Jula. One. Oh, that one's June. Are you colorblind? Just, just checking. Um, no. was that <laughs> okay, so the, the blue one. blazer. Actually, no coffee in the cup. Yes. Blue it's gonna blazer. Be the... Is that when she says her name, uh, spells her name, or is that earlier? My name is Hannah. Okay. H. My name is Hannah. Twist would be that she. Well, the twist could be in this that there's June again? a twin sister that did it. Uh, was, yeah, that's June I don't as well. Know, that's much of a twist because that, that's already pretty clear. So, okay, so we might look back at the, some of the previous videos just to clarify. Mm. But we don't we probably don't need to clarify is, yet. Uh, twin. Yeah. Mm. She recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hid me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play, it was a dollhouse. She hid me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. Wait, so the hmm. sister hid it. See, look. You see uh, it? Who is it? Um, well, they could be talking about their mum or something. Maybe they didn't, maybe she didn't know there was a twin. Well, hold on. The... Or they hid that they were twins. Across the road, where my parents first lived, Florence. I was born at the same time. Maybe she's Eve. I was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord. The midwife 
told my mother I was dead. So she might not know that she's mm. alive. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Sorry, what did you say before that? I don't know what I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we have... We could search... Um, oh, what I said was maybe the twin's name is Eve. Oh, well, we could search Eve. Said, yeah, she said, like, why did I talk about Eve? True. Well, it was, yeah, we can search that. That's also a palindrome. It is. Mm. Eve's usually short for, like, Evelyn or something. Yeah. We have seven entries. Okay. We have access to five. We've seen one. This is the same interview, I'm guessing. Looks like it. And one more there. So... Uh, Hannah. yes. Okay. Well, She's got two coffees now. Friend. My friend Eve. Friend Eve, okay. So not the twin. When I was a kid, and she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. I mean, really hate her sometimes. I don't think you'd say friend, but I don't mm. know, unless you're trying to hide something, but you clearly look the same because you're one actress. Two cups without coffees. Maybe it's secretly Mountain Dew. That's the actual twist. Uh, so this was Hannah, Hannah too. Yeah. Yes. 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 And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. But that was it. It was just a moment. We made up afterwards. It was a love-hate relationship. Seems like not the best thing to say if you're being uh, But that's why she then murder. says, that's why she's going, why did you talk about Eve? And she feels like an uh, idiot. Oh, yeah, Which actually, after, yeah, I feel like true. if you thought that was normal, you wouldn't react like that. Mm. But if you feel like, oh shit, now I sound bad. Yeah, you'd true. react like that. Okay, another one is Hannah. A police station. Yeah, when I was young. We ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing. <laughs> How'd you write down a name? We'd break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd saved money, pitched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Along the captain's station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve, so my parents let me off. Wait, so the parents are obviously aware of Eve then? Yes. But she always says my friend Eve. Mm -hmm. um, two, three, two megabytes local storage. And 94? That is a decent amount in 94, I think. Oh, watch this one. Okay, so this was twin. Oh, is that the same? Yep. I mean, they could have some of the same colors. Mm. My mother called me Eve. Mm. Wait, what? Yeah. What? Okay, so she, Eve is the twin. Do but we want to she's keep? She's calling a friend. Do we want to label these as twin or Eve then? Ugh. And also, I guess they should be. I think this we could put both. You can add. Oh, wait, this Anna. This would be kind of annoying for viewers potentially, but what I would do if I was playing this not streaming mm -hmm. is i'd go back to my first things that we searched and go add the hannah and twin slash eve tags uh, i think we just do it as they come up okay because it's going to be a pain we can yeah. we can keep no, no, the twin there fair. and just add the eve anyway so yeah tommy's first pc had 70 megs in 1993 yeah i think my first pc had like 256 megs in like I want to say like early 2000s so that's probably about right um so we didn't get all of the entries so we could try hannah and eve together oh yeah okay oh we got one new one so we'll just put this as eve 
We don't need to put twin now? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Okay. But yeah, it wasn't the best PC. It was probably only like 10 or something, so. <laughs> if Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. And she didn't put on any weight. But a girl has a healthy appetite. Um, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of her games. And that Eve was our imaginary friend. <laughs> Once, she what? was already up and dressed and ready to go to school and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear, she went mad. Get dressed this instant, sorry. Ducked into our bedroom. <laughs> and seconds later, out came Hannah, dressed and ready. My mum was amazed. Hmm. Okay, so it sounds like they were living in the same house, but it was hidden from the mum. Yeah. That seems weird. Yes. Um, and Actually, obviously aware that they're twins. Um, this? Which makes me want to search Florence. Oh, okay. We have, we have a history of what we've searched. That's kind of handy. Oh, okay, cool. Um... Um, Florence was the, the yeah. Midwife, I'm just curious whatever. if I um, I searched. Oh wait, is this gonna give us? Try it. Our tag. Yeah, it should give us ours. Yeah, and new ones. Oh, someone wearing black. Guess we'll just add them now because they're here. You don't I mean, have to keep the twin one, I guess. Yeah. Oh, also, I... there's more entries found, and it's limited. So, do you want to take twin off those? Ordered. Because look, there's, there might be. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, it might just be more of ours, but. I think there might be a few more here. Oh, Aha! A few, a few new ones. Okay, four. There we go. There we cool. go. So this game only about watching. That's basically what it is. Yeah, you just got to watch. You got to figure out the. What's I am going finding on. this less tedious than I expected. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, well, it seems like interesting. There's more of an interesting story. Again, if I so. wasn't, if I was playing on my own, I'd probably be writing like very, <laughs> like, yeah. intense, um, neat notes. But I'm just doing scribbles. Okay, so we can watch these ones, I guess, first before yeah. these ones. Yeah. And determine who this, who this is. is. Might play Welcome to the Room too. Is that like similar? I do like these kinds of games. Welcome to the game too. Okay. <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? Hmm. Okay. Wait. So who's that? That's either. It's, I feel like it's Hannah. I feel like it's Hannah because Hannah seemed. She kept talking about my. It was like Hannah was trying to hide it. Yeah. Leave it blank for now. No, I haven't heard of Welcome to the Game or Welcome to the Game 2. But if it's similar, I might enjoy it. Are you out of your mind? Granted, it's built computer in 1999 at like 5 gig. Jesus! 5 gigs are ridiculous for that time. I didn't realize he had that. Oh, so that was basically the same again, right? Yeah. She's confused about the twin thing. Yes, this one will be Eve, I'm guessing. Yeah. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Hmm. Hmm. So it sounds like Eve probably lived with Florence, but still came over to like play with Hannah. So that's what we're talking about in the attic. Without the mum seeing those somehow. Yeah. Sixty-five percent. Well, they just assumed she was an imaginary friend and blah blah blah. That's what she was saying. True. That's pretty cheap. Oh, is that on Steam? I'll have to have a look into it. All right. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. 
We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper. Is her name Princess Diana? I actually have one writing. Oh, it's just good. And underneath, we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Oh, okay, I was going to say, she wasn't, she didn't die at that point, so. It's going to get worse for you, Eve, I'm sorry to say. Mm. Sometimes she looks kind of cute. How would she look like today? <laughs> I don't know. I Is mean, twins? she would be the same age now. I think this came out in like 2012, so. Same. Um, so what do we want to, maybe Florence? Florence? Yeah. We have three new ones from Eve. Do we still know who do, uh, is? Do we want to tag these? Yeah, I was just thinking. This is going to make it no, but the thing hard because it's going to mix with the other ones. Mix Maybe we need to, ones. like, if we need to search Eve, then all our ones that are tagged Eve are going to come up. Yeah, but why? We... we would need to search something more specific if we want something more specific. I suppose, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll stick with it. Came out back then. No, no, no. This is like, yeah, 2012. This was released, I'm pretty sure. It's one of those, you know, modern games that's made to look old. So maybe the MPEG, MPEG thing is wrong. They could have got it wrong. We searched, um, did we search Hannah and Simon? And Eve and Simon? We probably wouldn't do that. Don't too. think we did. Yeah, this won a award, an award for Best Narrative, which is kind of why I wanted to check it out. And it had some pretty good feedback on it too, so. Florence raised me in her home. I never left it. She kept me out of sight. It wasn't odd for people to see a midwife with a baby, carrying in supplies, washing nappies, that sort of thing. I never knew any different. I grew up looking out of my window and seeing her across the road. I thought it was like a reflection in the mirror. She was me. Hmm. <sighs> Could be her trying to surprised. take her life, you know. She's Maybe. been trapped looking in a mirror and now she wants to go through the other side of the mirror. Which I feel sorry for her though, this is fucked up. Hmm. Is. Okay. Florence was a warm, kind person. But she was broken, I guess. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it. All the papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story was in there. Her story. I never really spoke to her about it. I was far too young to really understand. I guess I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children, planned to have a large family, but her husband died in the war. And that was back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her twenties. But, I mean, I guess it was different then. You know, you married for life and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I, I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. Um, I was going to say something and now I forgot what it was. I don't remember. After the filming was complete, Barlow ran the footage through two VHS players to make it resemble video from the time period of 1994. Nice. That's pretty cool. It definitely looks like it. Yeah, it's, it's authentic. It's pretty authentic. Alright, another one. No. It was just me and her. It was the name they were going to call their first child. They talked about it and I'm going to try when he came back. Florence's family had a history of first-born girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. 
Mm. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread, maybe I misunderstood. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to remember what happened last week. Um, so there's Lawrence. also another chance. I was actually thinking this before that video, and then that video almost seemed to corroborate what I was thinking. There's also a chance that they're not twins, and these stories we've been sharing, they're just stories, and mm. it's one person. I did think it could be one person, but I feel like there was something she said. When she said that they broke onto Bob Dylan's bus or whatever the hell it was mm. and then she said it was Eve's idea and then the mum kind of believed her that makes it think that Eve must be a different person because otherwise she'd well, be like no. oh no you're just telling stories about well, Eve no but if you're a parent you can just say like oh it's my friend Eve you don't have to admit your friend Eve yeah I guess so um, I think we need to search some combinations such as Hannah right. and Simon Eve and Simon Florence and Eve let's do it seen that one Got more of Eve. Differences? She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm. She is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. Carl. She had such a crush. I let him take my virginity after a night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let him see she was a virgin. She had lots of excuses. Hmm. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. It's not that different to a bruise, pulling a tooth, a graze. We used a hairbrush. After that, we took him in turns, though. I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. Until Simon. Um, so, again, just before this video, I started thinking of something else, which seem to really work with that video it's a little bit cheesy but I'm kind of thinking of it's multiple personality disorder yeah. and part I don't know if this would be a purposeful reference but I did a whole art project on this which is why it's in my head and read a book about it a couple times or more than a couple times mm. The Three Faces of Eve was a movie from like the 50s I think maybe even 40s um that was about the real life of Chris Costner Sizemore, though her name wasn't known at the time, who had had multiple personality disorder. Mm. Well, I guess it's what you'd call associative identity disorder, but at the time, multiple personalities. But um, and you know how one of them comes out because this one can seduce the boys, mm. and this other one can't. Um. It feels yeah. slightly exploitative if that is the case, but it, I don't know. Hearing that when I had that in my head made a lot of sense, but that could just be my my bias in my head. Not necessarily say it's exploitative. It's just a character in a fictional mm. story. Um, uh, we're going to finish watching this. Yeah, I just wanted to check something. Um, so she. When did she say. Okay, so she said. She basically was in denial of the twin thing in July. Twins. So that would be when they knew he was dead, I'm assuming. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was the first of July. Are you really asking me that question? So she's she's in denial of there being a twin. Yeah. As Hannah. Presumably. Or Hannah, Hannah is in denial. Whereas Eve's not in denial of it. We don't actually know if it's Hannah, but yeah. For sure. Oh yeah, that's true, we don't. I mean, um, if there's only two and if it's twins, then I'd say that was Hannah, but... Yeah. Okay, next. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous. Didn't want to share. Even the first date. We went to see Tom Cruise at the old Odeon. We both went. 
kept changing places in the toilet. We only had the one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. <laughs> Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, at the end, I let him kiss me, but that was it. We didn't want another card on our hands, and the Ouija board had said, Ouija board? To hold back. What, what? Okay, we need After to look that, that up. It was Hannah's turn, and she slept with him. Broke the rules. Deliberately broke the rules. She wanted to be the first to sleep with him. <laughs> I mean, that's when she got pregnant. From that one time. Hmm. Um, have you seen Dead Ringers? Mm, the name sounds familiar, but I don't know if I've seen it. It's a horror movie. Um, what's the actor's name? I can't remember the actor's name right now. But um, he plays twins. But there's a, they do they share everything, and and at one point they do pretend to be one person and both like share a woman. Mm. Well, I think that's something they've always done, except that there's no hiding that they're twins necess well they do hide that they're twins from individuals but it's not like a yeah one of them grew up kind of thing it's um possibly a reference so that wait this is making hannah got pregnant i'm guessing to simon yeah that's that's what she said which would mean eventually at some point if there is two of them he would notice because one would be pregnant and one wouldn't in theory well that was said like that could have been been a, a problem. Mm. Um, Dead Ringers from 1988. Uh, what's the name? Jeremy Irons. I don't know that it's. It's. Um, oh, yeah. He's yeah. in a bunch of things. I might have seen that. Alright, the, the red. No. The parents decided there would be a wedding. And after the wedding, Hannah moved in with his parents. There was no way I could follow. So we were separated again. Hmm. I stayed in the attic. It was hard. It's like I suddenly didn't exist. I would sneak out, but in case anyone recognised me, I started wearing a wig. Hannah and I would meet up in the park. I was trying to get pregnant. But I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't do it with anyone we knew, so it was... Sex with strangers. Drug guys I'd met in clubs. In parks and alleyways. I was 17. It felt like I was being punished. But it was Hannah who had betrayed us. I had to stop when one of the guys gave me an STD. When we met up, it was disturbing. For the first time, my reflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter, flushed. If anything, I was getting skinnier. I had a hearty look sometimes. We talked about what to do. Was it time to become our own people? And that seemed like the right thing to do, but neither of us wanted it. We agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible, and then I could move in. And that was the plan. Mm. Um, so if she's 17, that means Hannah's 17. Yeah. So wait, what did we just say? That it was Hannah Simon. So I'm just crossing them off. Right. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I've got so many options for possible uh, mm. things to search. Okay. Hannah had a miscarriage. This was late in the pregnancy and it left her infertile. Felt like the universe had corrected its course. We were aligned. But Hannah and Simon were still living with his parents. They were married. 
Simon had a job at the Glaciers now. Derek had given him the full-time position after he left school. And then... And then what? Mm. Mm. Okay, we so can try Simon Eve. Yeah. We might get some of the same. No, we okay. get the same. Oh, but this is the thing. It's because we've uh, yeah. got these tags. Well, we can remove our tags. Um, we well, could use I mean, something I've else. Just, I've as just a made. Reference. Well, I've written a note of like who's. who's what if who. we do? So we don't actually need the tag necessarily. So you're curious if that will remove it. No, it still doesn't. I think just remove the tags. We don't actually need it so much. Again, if it was real life and I worked here, I'd have a spreadsheet <laughs> and you'd be able to filter it. Okay, okay, well, it only gives us that one. Okay. But we can remove tags and things like that. That's interesting. Mm. Um, Florence and Eve? Kind of going back a bit to. Search engine is even. Yeah, <laughs> Google, that's right. It is better than Google. Should we remove our tags from there? Um, There's only five anyway, but uh, just for future. Okay, well, we've seen all those. Okay. Um, well, were they mentioned a pregnancy? Yeah, so... Uh, pregnancy, marriage, and infertile sort of ones that I want to... So pregnant or pregnancy. Okay, wait, have we seen this one before? Nah. No, oh, I Rich? think we've seen one of those. Maybe. Well, I think we have seen her, but I, we didn't know which one it was. It was before we knew there were two. Yeah. This one's different So we've too. seen her, but... I think? Blue Polo, I haven't got that one. Blue Polo? It looks like Hannah, based on the Maybe hair. we could put... Nah, uh, I was going to say, maybe we could put the clothes as No, text, but, I've, but I'm literally just writing it down. Like, this one's Eve, this one's Hannah. Okay. I got pregnant. Both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't even in the room. And they decided we should get married. Okay, so that's probably Hannah, I'm imagining. Yeah. I think she's one of the first ones we saw. Mm. I wrote light blue, but I think that was a different floral top. So yeah, I've, there I've is a different a, one to I that. I mean, so far, everything she's worn is blue. Apart from, oh, this might, might not be here. Yeah, Yes. Oh, she's got a jug now. Oh, I'm sick again. This happened some days. I'm pregnant. This morning sickness. So she's not infertile then? Well, that could be. Oh, Eve. yeah. It could be Eve. This is a good point. The music's getting creepy. Well, yes. He found out on my birthday. I told him I was pregnant. Mm. Okay, who's she referring to? I would say Simon, but... I don't know. It's Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower. Rapunzel <laughs> gets pregnant by the prince, and Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. But she throws her into the wilderness, and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince, who's blind. But she kills him with her tears, and so it's a happy ending. <laughs> is that too much? Why are they asking about that? Well, doesn't uh, mother taking you and putting you in a castle mm. sound a bit like Eve's situation? It does. So again, maybe just stories? She seems very familiar with that story too. Mm. Okay. Should we put Rapunzel as a search term? I've written, I've written many things down. <laughs> okay. So we are search pregnant, haven't we? Um, we have indeed searched pregnant. Welcome back. Hey Zooks, welcome back. 
Long time no see. I just want to. Um, How you been? Not, not, um, not a telling off or anything, but <gasps> some people what? may find it offensive to um, say crazy. So that's can can be considered an ableist um, term because people who have mental illness don't want to be called crazy. Um, yeah. That's so if fair. we can just. Maybe, I... I I I did <laughs> yeah I I slipped up on it too. I'm just I'm just gonna point it out in case there's anyone who's watching who doesn't want to hear hear that. So. All right. Um, I was gonna say something and now I forgot what it was. Sorry. No, that's all right. I can't remember. It'll probably come to me. Been here a few streams recently about being lurking because you're a creep. <laughs> that's all right. You can I'm be a, a you can be a creep in the streams. Oh. That's fine. Your creepiness is welcome. All right, next. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. Hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. Okay. Trying to prove that it was real. Yeah. So earlier she mentioned that Hannah set both of their driving tests because Hannah was the better driver. Mm -hmm. Whereas she's saying she was driving badly, so that could hint that it's Eve. But I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, possibly. Well, I'll look that one up again. But um, yes, we're, we're doing good. Thank you, Zilks. Hope you're doing good as well. Hope you had a good Christmas. Um, I think we should search pregnant Hannah and pregnant Eve. Okay, um, first I want to search... Driver's test. Oh yeah, I actually wrote that down too. Well, I just want to see if it was Hannah that she said was a better driver. Yeah, so she said Hannah's a better driver. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. So maybe the red one is Eve. Maybe. Yeah, I put that as a question mark. That does sound like it, because she's referring to a guy. Doing okay, that's good to hear. Very good to hear. <laughs> Jacob did thumbs up. I did the thumbs up. You might not be able to see it, but I'm doing it. Holidays usual, yeah. Yeah, it's probably the same for us, really. Same, same, same old story. Um, alright, what were we searching? Pregnant? Yeah, pregnant Hannah. Pregnant Hannah. Oh, we got two new ones. From Eve. Can you imagine? I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. I slept with so many boys. Men. My body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. Mm. I was pretty ill. I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Set us down separate paths. We had become different. Hmm. I mean, the fact that Hannah was pregnant and then had a miscarriage, possibly when she wasn't showing yet, and then she wasn't able to get pregnant at the same time, can could kind of tie into them being the same person. Yeah. All been safe and healthy? Yeah. We've been pretty good. We've been pretty good. I, I also think. remember, um, so Chris Cosmos eyes more. The three faces of Eve is actually really not representative of what happened to her. It was her doctor exploiting her. He made money, he got famous. Mm. But she later wrote her book, which was just called Eve, and revealed her actual name, Chris Cosmos Sizemore. And um, the way she describes how um, uh, Oh, okay. Uh, Continue. Describes like how like okay for example one of her earliest memories i think she's about four and she sees this little red-headed girl 
going and doing something and the way it's described as third person it mm. was her but that's how her memory of it is yeah it's yeah. like this external other person like it literally was in her brain this other person yeah um and yeah that's what i mean again i'm coming at this from a really specific reference that this is well, reminding me of plausible but yeah i think it's plausible but also i think my brain is you know naturally becoming a bit biased to thinking that um because it's you know you can make it you could make it fit mm. a different story um so yeah we're not sure if she has a twin at this point we think she does but then yeah. there's also a possibility that it's, it's the same person but she has almost like a split personality kind of thing going on so the one hannah um is acting like there's no twins and mm. talks about her friend eve eve is definitely talking like they're twins mm. which again that's another thing where ones are weird yeah or, um and you know as i said it could be if that is the direction we're going in there could be even more but it sounds like just the two yeah so why did you go oh at this deep i chair? think this might be showing us how many we've watched oh oh that's cool i don't know why this one's yellow though yeah, I don't know. maybe it means maybe once we watch this one it will not be yellow oh maybe i think it was that time the first time at the house in his bed that i got pregnant amazing right this fucking magic sperm they say lightning doesn't strike twice. Wait, so she's talking about Simon, I think. Yeah. I didn't tell him. I missed three periods. I have pretty irregular periods anyway, but three. I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I didn't tell him. I just waited. Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday and... I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. Mm. So we've searched pregnant Hannah. Ah, I think you're. And now there's oh. the other one here. Interesting. I don't know what that's about. One volume missing. I don't know what that is. Um, did we search pregnant Eve? No, we haven't searched that yet. I was gonna say I didn't cross it off my list. So the way this works, Silks, is like we can search specific terms. So we know Simon is the the murder victim in this thing. So we could search Simon, and it will give us 61 results. But the way it works is you can only view the first five um, results. So the way that you need to find more things to kind of watch and figure out the cases to kind of narrow down your search your search terms. So we're kind of combining ones now. To narrow it down. Okay, we have none. Did we search Simon Eve? Uh, I think we may have. I think we did, yeah. Okay, yeah, we yeah, saw that yeah. one. There's nothing So. Okay. There was one that I wanted to look up, now I forgot what it was. That uh, pregnancy timeline is still confusing. Um, yeah. So, it could have been uh, miscarriage or infertile? We were miscarriage about could be something. Okay, I've got a few for that one. Those are, Those are all of them. Hannah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, all of them. Still says, still has one yellow one. I'm confused. Okay. Uh, do these have tags? No. No. I lost the baby. I had a miscarriage at eight months. Eight months? Mm. I carried on living at Simon's parents until... But it was only a few months after. Okay, so she would have been most likely showing then at that point oh yeah i mean some people don't show but i would imagine no but i mean eight months show. more because that's quite late for a miscarriage yeah, from oh my yeah, understanding. yeah definitely yeah um okay then my parents died oh it was the worst year of my life a miscarriage and then my parents Hmm. Interesting. Maybe Eve didn't exist before then, possibly, and then it was like a trigger for. No, they spoke about as kids, like playing in the attic and all that stuff. 
Yeah, but she could have. Uh, maybe, and the mum uh, hearing her, thinking she's, but she's only speaking to her imaginary friend Eve. Mm, yeah. Maybe I don't know. I think Eve's always been there. Okay, next. Yeah. They got to that female. I think it was flu or something. The neighbor called me. I had to use my key to let them in. We found them dead in their bed. And they'd been there for days. No one had noticed. Just awful. It was so soon after my miscarriage. In the worst year of my life. I'd been so happy to get married, and after that, it was just like, fuck. Hmm. hmm. Could she, Eve have been involved in the murder? Well, we don't know if they murdered. This was a mm -hmm. disease, so I imagine they would have done a coroner report and known it was an illness. But you think she would know exactly how they died? They did. It was like mi they mysteriously both died in their bed. Do you think they'd investigate that? Yeah, well, she said they were ill. She's one person who murdered her parents because of the miscarriage. Yeah, I thought possibly mm. that could be an angle. Maybe. It seems like a little bit of a stretch, but. I thought it was a little too obvious. What's yeah, well, those, yeah. Like, sequence of events we've had. Mm. I think if she could have murdered the parents, but it, it would be more combination of things. Yeah. Like finding Eve or. Slipping up on something. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I was infertile. Thought I was. They told me I was infertile after the miscarriage because of complications. Thought I was. So she's pregnant again, I think? Which is what Hannah said. I mean, sorry, what Eve said. Um, so when's the 30th of June? The one in the red, what would that be under? Eve bring up. Uh, L? She was L? What? I just want to find the specific video. Not that one. Yeah, well that's why I thought if you search Eve bring up. This one. So this was also June. She's, uh, and this was earlier. This is the 27th. So mm -hmm. this is when she says she's pregnant. Yes. Oh, I was sick again. This happened some days. Pregnant. She's pregnant. And then... Uh, this is later. Yeah. I thought I was. They told I thought I was miscarriage because of complications. Yeah, she thought she so was... So she is pregnant. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I to clarify that. Um, I wanted to search infertile. In, oh my god. Okay. See those? Um, damn it, there was something I wanted to look up. Do you want me to read the entire list I've got? Um, it was something not too far back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Search Reading? for the parents. We could search, we don't have names, but we could search parents. Yeah. Um, it wasn't weeding. Sick illness, morning sickness? Oh, it was, um... It was Glasgow, because she mentioned something about driving to Glasgow, and that's when she was driving badly. She was and trying to get away or something. Yeah. Okay, okay we've got lots of red. And there's teenagers. Oh yeah, there is too. I got in the car, and I drove. And just kept driving north. Just kept going, just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so tired. I just had to sleep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow, I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, bought a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone, and then headed back. So where was she, why was she running? 
Although she said she tried to well, call Simon, so maybe he was dead. Well, presumably because of her and Hannah being yeah, that's different. Yeah, watch. Mm. Uh, it was a gift from Eric. Yeah. It this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. Princess Diane. That time. You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. So, so she's trying to get an alibi. Hmm. But she said anniversary present. He got it this year. That doesn't really give us much, then, I guess. Um, Steel will tell us how many years they've been married. Ah, uh, Steel, yeah, that's true. Just I wondered why she seconds. said that. Couldn't have been too long. Yeah, it's, they start off with, like, paper... And like, and then you know the higher paper. ones like diamond and Man. stuff. So steel sounds kind of like. Imagine getting a paper watch as a gift. Not a paper watch. Eleventh wedding anniversary. Eleventh, okay, that's longer than I thought. Mm. No, I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. Okay. Oh, so no one can uh, actually confirm your alibi. Interesting. Mm, yes. So we probably Very want to search Glasgow with something. Um, I mean, you can try Eve and Hannah again, or Simon. Yeah, that might narrow it um, down. And then maybe Crash. Eve. One entry. And that's Hannah. That's Eve, isn't it? Yes, it is Eve. I'm getting mixed up. Trust no. Yes. I don't know who we should trust more, Eve or Hannah. It's like I told you before. I drove. I took the car and drove. I don't have my own car, but I have a spare set of keys. I just drove north. I wanted to think for some space between me and them. Wait, so what? Everything I told you before is true. I stopped at Glasgow. I was tired, exhausted. I pulled out. And I hit a car. My car was okay, but I was worried about the baby, so I went to A&E to get the okay. Everything was fine. So the... I slept in the car. When I woke, I tried to call Hannah from a paper, and she wasn't answering. Okay. And then I decided to drive back. I had decided that she was more important to me than Simon. Okay, so that kind of confirms the one in red is Eve. Or, well... Because that was the story. About driving or oh. the thing is they just said different versions of the story she stopped and tried to call Hannah from uh, tried to call Eve what'd she say call Hannah from a payphone I think she, so yeah well Hannah it's like the other red one said try to call Simon from a payphone when I work I tried to call Hannah from a payphone hmm you're right almost um, like they had this they did the same let's see if we can find that same situation maybe just pay for it wait she no yeah I don't remember which one it was it just was one of the read ones pay phone. oh maybe we need to do it as one two words there we go. yes um I got to Glasgow, I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. And the crash details were different. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. Mm. I got some petrol, bought a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone, and then headed back. Yeah. I decided that Hannah was more important to me than Simon. So it's like... Mmm... I don't know. Uh, to me, that hasn't confirmed whether the red one is Eve or Hannah because if they are the same person and they had the same experience but remembered it differently or yeah. did, different, did two phone calls because one in red, no, one in white did not call Simon because she decided that Hannah was more important than Simon. Mm, yes. Thank you, cranky lady. It's pretty Hello. good so far. I'm definitely enjoying it. I like Same. these types of games where you, like, 
have to like do mystery solving but when it's more like interface based that makes sense like return of Oberdin, i don't know if you've played that one but that one's like probably one of my favorite games recently that i've played it's kind of similar um all right okay we have as i said a million different turns maybe driving i think you searched something about driving before but it was in between things so i didn't write it down uh was okay. this a driving test one because i wanted to confirm that hannah was the better driver um crash is not written down i thought i had that written down where is it crash oh we have a new one When beautiful people died, it was felt like it was a sign. You remember Princess Grace? Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. We used a Ouija board to speak to her. Ouija board, that was the one. I wrote that down too. That's what we thought then. That people who died tragically leave some kind of magic behind. We used to share dreams. We used to wake up and write them down in our diaries immediately and compare them. Um, so there, they spoke about prince and princesses, which, you know, that was fine for kids playing. Mm. But they've also mentioned Princess Grace slash Grace Kelly. Yeah. And um, Princess Diana. And then car crashes. And then it's like they were trying to have a car crash to be a princess. Possibly. Possibly could be part of it. Sucker for point and click game. I'm very much the same. I've been recently playing through the Blackwell series. That one's been very enjoyable and almost on a similar vein as this, where you like have to solve. Kind of have to solve murders in a way. Um. So there's a whole bunch of other directions to go in, but I kind of want to. See, we we're focusing on the pregnancy now. I'm kind of focusing on the drive, so it's like, like, is. Well, I'm curious about this Ouija board. Business. I'm not sure we can stop and, yeah, um, sorry, I'm not sure we can fully end like do one direction from start to finish anyway. So if we jump yeah. about, it's fine. Well, that should kind of tie into each other as we go. So. Just found sequel there's a this. sequel. Okay, I know there's a there's a game from the same developer, but I don't think it's a sequel uh and it's like going through multiple people's stories i don't know if that's the one you're talking about so i'm not sure if i've heard of an actual sequel of the, this but that would be kind of cool if there was i'm not sure that i'd pull off a sequel maybe it's just a different case you have to follow enjoy the shit out of the back yeah i think i've only got the last one left to play now but they've been all been really good uh, we can search ouija yeah i think ouija is that it no um o-u-i J-A. Ah, that's close. We are. Yeah. We are. That's yes, yes. Yes, yes, board. Oh, okay, so it's only that. Okay. I thought there'd be more than that. Um, oh, well, Carl. Princess. Carl? Princess. Oh, we've got a million names. Um, I, don't, I think I'd rather look at the princess okay, thing princess. first. Okay, princess. Just because it's to do with car crash. We should look at Carl after this, though, because they mentioned... Did we, we said crash, right? Yeah, we did. They mentioned after what happened with Carl, and then something to do with the Ouija board. Yeah, Carl was the teen boyfriend. So I'm curious what that deal the deal is with that. Pretty Simon boyfriend. Yeah. It might not be relative. But. There's also Eric, Diane, Peter, Helen. Yeah, there's a lot of names. I guess. Yeah, there's a bunch of people. Ooh, okay, we got some multiple multiple outfits going so on here. So we can search Princess Diane and Princess Grace as well. Yeah, there's not too many entries, so. It wasn't the present so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror, a nice mirror. Oh, he didn't princess. Make glass, the kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. Mm. He made it specially for me. Oh, that's right. He works with glass. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe seeing her reflection was like a problem mm. for some reason. Reflection is another word I've got written down. So this one is possibly Eve. Next one. Yes. I drove in here because I remember, well, I went over the river. And then there was a church. There. Yeah. And I probably... Huh. Part, well, I remember seeing a street sign called Princess Street. 
Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it must be this one. There. Mm. Okay. She pointed to where the crash happened, I assume. That could be it, yeah. So is this the same blue top we've already seen? Well, there's been like, is this blue top, this blue top, I don't this think blue that's top. a blue top. Oh, is it that's the blue the polo? Yeah, there's yeah, also the Those floral ones I know one. for sure. I think this is the blue polo. That one's the blue polo. No, no, no. That, this one? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. This one looks this different. Might, I think this is a new blue top. Yeah. She's got a tattoo. Yeah, actually. Which she doesn't have in the other ones. Oh, yeah, she's... So... Mm, maybe it's... Um, maybe it is a different person. Eve. Interesting. Yeah. We were 17. It was a nice wedding, people said. Simon looked very handsome in the photos. His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding. But if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. <laughs> the chain wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. Mm. She looked upset at the end there. Okay, uh, hold so... Hold on, I just want to rewatch that for That a could be yeah. Eve. We were 17. Because she's had, Eve's had long sleeves. It was a nice wedding, people said. So she refers to whose Simon wedding it was. Seen the photos. His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding. But if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. Yeah, it does. she doesn't kind of refer to her if it was great Hannah's or... Bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the... Okay. Also, her voice is different in that one. Mm. I feel like it's potentially a third, but um, third. If it's of the two, I think it's Eve because Eve's had long sleeves. I think. Anyway. Also, we've she actually only got yeah, the only one we've has. got confirmed as Eve is white. Yeah. Um, <gasps> do you know what I just remembered? What? The terms they used for Chris Costner Sizemore. I think there was <laughs> Eve White, Eve Black. Oh. Might have even been Eve Reed. Something like that. No, no external stuff. They could be referencing it. I know, but they could be. Then we could spoil something. It's the book that I lent to Ben, which I realised he hasn't given back, and I don't even know if he's read it. It's ben, one of my favourite books. The hell? So. Ben, give my book back. You're Ben if you're listening. Um, all right. We were obsessed with fairy tales. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real. Bizarre and violent. Felt like life. We had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. Hmm. I'm curious about the tattoo. That's something we should search. But um, while we're on Princess, can we just search Princess Diana? Because the car crash. Is it two ends or one uh, end? One end, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that looks right. That looks right. Okay. And maybe Grace. I don't know what these other princess ones are, but we might come across them eventually. Um, do you want to look up tattoo then? I think we should. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So these two have long sleeves. But that first one is Hannah. Did we confirm it was Hannah? Yeah, I've got her on a list. Dark okay. blue blazer. No, he doesn't have any tattoos. E, okay. He has tattoos. a scar down here near his stomach, past his hip. Cut himself with some glass. That was before 
an old tanker. That was before what? It was just like the photo. He's not got his glasses on here though. He takes them off with the camera. But he needs them to see properly, you know. He has to read a newspaper or a menu in a restaurant. Not look so much or watching TV. He likes TV. So what's the date? Yeah, that's when she he was just missing yeah, and she was giving the description she, and stuff. He likes TV because he's not like the idiot. Well, he's probably dead, but they don't know that. Yeah. So. Um, all and right. we, we can be fairly certain she's talking about Simon because she was talking about having the photo earlier. And he cut himself with glass, which was his occupation, was oh, working yeah, with glass, yeah. so. Okay. Oh, my tattoo. <laughs> I got it to express my individuality. It's an apple and a snake. Um, okay. like Eve, Garden of Eden. Oh, yes. That is a good point. So then that's most likely Eve. Or it's a representation of Eve that Hannah has. It could be, yes. I don't know if any of those things necessarily confirm one way or the other. Mm. It's, again, all of it's making me think it's one person. I feel like it's like trying to make you think that and then the twist is going to be it's not one person or the other way around I don't know yeah. I feel like the twist is that it's one person so but that's out. also I think it's too obvious yeah I've got a small bed set got my tattoo to mark the occasion okay well that's Eve I was singing yes that's the one we had confirmed piece. so I had some money enough money to cover my rent and I've been doing something similar ever since I haven't put down any roots I don't exist. So tattoo blue, we want to confirm as Eve. Yes, I think so. You say both have tattoos, but okay. well, Hannah doesn't. True. He saw me singing one of my shows. Pure chance. Not sure I remember what he was even doing there. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking. I knew who he was. Obviously, I knew who he was. But he didn't know who I was. He was fascinated by the likeness. He guessed my name from my tattoo. Tattoo. <laughs> Told As me it was Eve. a well, That would impress me. Okay, yep. I enjoyed talking to him. It was amazing to be able to sit and interact and talk to him after all this time. So this is after they've had to split. He didn't tell me he was married. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Maybe when she was pregnant still? He later told me it was like he was dreaming. A waking dream. Right, can you go over what you're thinking? No, I was just saying, because she's saying it was amazing to sit and talk with him as if she'd been away from not being able to do that for a long time, which that period would have been when Hannah pregnant. got pregnant and yeah. they had to separate for a while. I but would say. I, I didn't think he knew there were two of them. Yeah. But he, and he was shocked by the likeness. Yeah. And, well, and, no, wait, didn't know, because she said he didn't know who I was. Yes. So if she was still pregnant and then saw her show, like he true. happened to see her show, then it's like, oh, well, that's clearly not my wife because you're not pregnant. But holy fuck, she looks like a lot like her. Mm. I'm going to go talk to her. So, so I don't uh, think yeah. he knew because... Does that doesn't, I don't know if that, don't know if that confirms they're definitely two people, though. Because, I mean, he's dead, so he can't even really testify against yeah. her or anything. Hmm. So what was that we said? We searched it. Um, this is very long. Okay. Um, I'm kind of also curious about the scar on Simon. Again, I've got a million directions to go into. Yeah. I'm slightly stressed because I want to write this in a different way. Like, <laughs> yeah. But I, the 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 like um intense like neat um I can't think of the 
the word that the way I'd do this if I was playing alone would be very boring to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, apple and snake. Apple snake. Yeah, try one first. Apple. Okay. Snake will probably be the same. Probably. Right okay. Um. Bible. Bible. Garden of Eden. Oh. Also, I think her, the fact her name's Eve and she's got a snake and apple tattoo is even more reason that she's the one person because it's like, here's my rebirth as this like new person. And that's not exactly, that's not really what Eve does, but. Mm. Um, which one was it that we were watching? Do you want to search this Garden one? of Eden? Um, we could search Eden. Hold on, I'm just going to check something. You can look at the transcript. Yeah. But you guessed my name for my tattoo. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome. Like that would impress me. I don't know if we should search palindrome or not. I've got that on my list as well. Did you wait? We said there's no transcript, is there? Didn't the instructions say there was a transcript you could read? I don't know where. Wow. I think it said there's a transcript attached to wait, the video. I videos. think you said transcript. Anyway, um, we we'll just search Eden and then. Nothing. Okay, I think palindrome's a few pages back. Here we go. <laughs> palindrome. Okay, so it's just those two. Um, we searched pregnant. STD. Okay, there's another one there. This is after the one we watched. I was living in the attic. It was a very hard time. I was depressed, was still pretty sick of the STD. When I came down one morning, they were dead. Your parents? They were in bed and both had been sick. So she was in the house when they died? Not. And I slept through it. Said it was mushrooms they ate. Okay, now I'm very suspicious. Dad was a mushroom mm. expert. I mean, he used to take us picking with him and he taught us how to recognize them. He taught us. Well, there's no way you would have picked that, caps. Okay, now it's super suspicious. suspicious. Born mentioned searching the parents. I think that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I've got parents written down. We don't know the names. Please believe that's what happened. They never even looked in the attic. Wait, why would you say never even looked in the attic? Because she was staying in the attic. At yeah, the time. I know, but why would the police need to look in the attic for the mushrooms? I guess yeah, she was saying like they weren't suspicious in of general. any foul play, so they didn't look in the attic. Um, um so we can just search parents. Okay, we have, we have a lot, okay. but we can search parents, uh, Eve, parents, Anna, and like parents, dead parents, yeah. mushrooms, so, parents. It was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job, but he didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at the Rock. That's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning. He just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. This must be the. So I decided to come see you. Quite an early one. His parents haven't this might even be the first one. It is. Oh, maybe not the first, but so 18th of the sixth of the day he went missing. Yes. Well, Dave's reported missing at least. Yes. Because she said he went out Friday, didn't come back Saturday. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back, me and Simon. The house. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. It reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. 
Um, mm. Yeah, mentioning like the attic and you know old things like memories, but doesn't. It's like the attic is, and her twin is all a thing mm. of the past or her altar or whatever. Yeah. Um, I think we should search for parents with their names. Do we know their names? No, I mean Eve and her. Uh. Maybe parents. Yeah. Dead. Parents mushroom. Parents. Oh, this is definitely important. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll come across other things. I was just going to say search for mushroom. Okay, yep. was wrong. The bags, I, I think they were from our kitchen, you can probably check that. We never go into the cellar, it's just a place we put things we don't need. My dad used to grow mushrooms there. The, the bags were taped up, I think it was parcel tape, but I think it was ours. Hmm. Okay, mm. so this is. And that's Hannah, right? Short oh, sleeve. Oh no, red, we weren't sure. I um, feel like, like it's Eve. Yeah. But that sounds like Hannah. Mm. They said it was food poisoning. I feel like her sleeve. Mm. Could it still be ca they covering said it was the food tattoo? Poisoning. There was something in mm. the food they ate. My dad liked to pick mushrooms, grow them too. They said it was the mushrooms. Pretty sure she's had shorter sleeves. It was mm. hard to believe. Death caps. They have a skirt around the cap. My dad taught me that. But I mean, the police had no reason to think it was suspicious. They lived alone. But they didn't. And no one had any reason to hurt them. She doesn't... Mm. She's definitely acting like she doesn't know about Eve. Yeah. So she didn't. She wouldn't know Eve was in the attic at that time when they died. Um, death cap. Might be two. Yeah. Hmm. Attic. Yeah, attic and cellar. Okay, we got a few more. Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play up there and make up our own stories. Okay, still not sure about that one. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? Yeah. I mean, could they? We have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? Blonde hair. Okay, so obviously hair has been found. Okay. There's evidence. It's a good search term, I think. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. <laughs> It must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. It is a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale. Little furniture. The lights work. Mirrors, beds. Big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing in it. We invented all these characters and families who lived there. Hmm. We wrote paperwork from them all. Passports, diaries, and gave them all really elaborate stories. Just stories. All these Once, stories been telling. <laughs> a moth got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. 
Um, I think seller. it's one person. Um, yep. Yeah. I mean, there's more edit ones too. Maybe. I'm not convinced it's one person. I think we should, should search Dollhouse as well. So. Yeah. It was after dinner. I had spoken to Sam's parents on the phone, you know. I looked up for an early night and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mother had said. She'd been speaking about old stuff. Sad stuff. About when we lived there. About the baby. There's when so many we lived boxes there. in the cellar. Mm. Nursery stuff. Stuff we never needed and I never had the heart to throw out. Okay, so it's most definitely I Hannah. That when I well, you said it was Eve earlier. Before, those boxes, yeah. that pile was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a torch and went straight to the back. And that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open. Saw the body. The body? I screamed and that's when I called the police. Wait, whose body is that? Simon's maybe? This, this oh, is no, the sixth. Is prior, yeah. The parents were dead in their beds. Okay, um, that's something we need to look at. Um, okay, so wait, so she's acting as though she's Hannah here. But we had her as Eve. Yeah. But Eve with a question mark. Yeah, because they both had driven to Glasgow, but they mm. had different differing stories. So it could still be separate. Yeah, but no, we had her as Eve before that. I can't remember why specifically. I think we had her as Eve because of the bad driving when they drove. Maybe. Well, that was the reason I had her as Eve. There might have been some other reasons too, but I can't remember. Well, fine. Considering. I got back into the house today, and that was weird. Knowing your people have been there through my things. It's like I've been burgled. And it worse, obviously. I don't know. What is in that I cup? Haven't been yet. They sent a cleaner in, as good as new, he said. But they had to throw some stuff out. Couldn't get the blood out. And I'm still waiting to hear from the coroner so we can get a date set for the funeral. It is, Simon. It's going to be a cremation. So. Um, I think we need to search, like, body or something. Mm. Or bin bags. It happened very quickly. We hardly had to talk to each other. We agreed almost silently. The baby was what mattered. We'd help each other. We cleaned up. We bagged up the broken mirror, her clothes. They're gone. We took him down to the cellar. We knew I... We... Wait, and what? Alibi. And we wanted the body to be found later. We wanted to have suspicion on us so we could then disprove it rather than have it longer. Better to keep the body in the house than risk being seen with it. The watch, that was my touch to make sure the alibi stuck. Okay, what? Okay, so now <laughs> it's like. Things. Oh, see, I'm starting to wind down. Um, so mm. she's confessed basically to doing it. As Eve. But, but saying she... that they both work together. Yeah. So now I'm confused again. Is there two of them? I'm, I'm confused. Um, do we want to finish up soon? Um... I guess if you want to. Well, we've done a couple hours. We I could think. do bodies. I kind of want to search yeah, that. Yeah, search oh, body. Actually, uh, can we go back? Back? Yeah. So what we were on. That previous search, whatever that was. I feel like we should tag that video with something. We're going to want to refer to that. 
Uh, confession or? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yep, now body. Alright, body. Body, body, body. We got. The guitar. Interesting. I remember seeing that in the trailer and being like, what the fuck? Bruce. Oh, yeah. Bruce. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... Hmm. Now I'm thinking, like, is she putting on a split personality and making out she doesn't know what happened? Mm. Or is there two of them and one of them did kill Simon and then is trying to get Hannah not to be involved? Mm. His body. Dragged in the meal. And his throat. His throat to be cut. And I didn't see his glasses. There's these thick glasses. It doesn't always wear. This is it. Wait. We said this was Eve, right? This is Tattoo Eve. She's got the tattoo. Really? Okay. Who's the rest? Who's the rest? Wait, what? This is a real story. Is it? Not of a real person. But... I've read this. Oh my gosh, this is so relevant. Do I see it? Oh my god. <laughs> So the story I read, I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to remember which, I'm pretty sure it's in the book of short stories that I've read a mm. few times actually, and it's a Patricia C. Reedy or something, but I'm guessing she's written it, or whoever I read it from has written it based on a like older folktale or something, mm -hmm. but basically there were sisters who were princesses, oh. <laughs> and um there was a suitor who kind of like was flirting with one of them but then ended up marrying another but like these two sisters always fought growing up all the time mm. and they end up fighting and one of the sisters pushes the other into the lake or whatever and the sister dies but she doesn't tell anyone no one knows this and then a fiddler or maybe it wasn't a fiddler but some musician uh, makes a Maybe it was a fiddle, but I would have said a lute or something. I can't quite remember. But makes an instrument from the bones and I think the hair of the dead sister. Except they don't know if this is if 
he actually did or not but he said this what he did he comes mm. in and he plays a song for the king and all the other people and it's a song that tells the story of that sister killing mm. the other sister which no one else knew and they end up throwing her in prison or putting her to death based on that but then there's a third sister who's kind of like was that even true we don't even know it's only based on this one guy's song that everyone believed it but the idea of like this truth telling musical instrument and well, the sisters <laughs> she's a musician because she talked about performing yeah well is it gonna be three but now? just how like thematically that's okay well i just want to search okay well, we haven't maybe that's the first bit she was talking about i'll play that one first Not the world's greatest guitar player. Okay? Probably needs tuning. No. It's okay. How about a traditional ballad? It should be right up your street. <laughs> oh, not so trial. <laughs> do we know who the elder is of them two? We don't, do we? Well, no. Maybe Hannah's the youngest. Maybe the eldest envied her sister fair. Oh, the wind and the rain. With a pretty little face and a long long hair. Oh, the dreadful wind and rain. So she pushed her in. Hannah did mention holding Eve under the water. She did. So I just looked mm. it up. Um, it says the Twa sisters isn't the two sisters is a traditional murder ballad. But I also just looked up. It was Patricia C. Reedy. Um, Cruel Sisters is a short story by Patricia C. Reedy. It's oh, a retelling of the ballad The Twa Sisters. So that is the version I had read, and that's why I recognised it. Hmm. The plot thickens. Which in her version is three sisters. Um, yeah. I feel like there wouldn't be three in this. They did only mention two. At the birth, so yeah. Now I'm thinking, like, is was there two, and now there's actually only one, and she's playing as both of them? Yeah. Like. Okay. Do we want to watch these the last two? The um. So that we've just done guitar, and we can cross it off. Well, I was just thinking, do we want to leave something? But there's just so many things that we're gonna have to lot. write a note of what we. Yeah. I don't think I have guitar. No, we didn't because it's just because that song came up. Hello, Samuel. Okay, yeah, we'll finish those. I'm just going to write a note. Last searched. Actually, I just want to quickly check one thing. Um, hey, what Samuel, did we sorry. put? Confession. So she's playing the guitar on the first of the seventh. 
confession was on the 3rd of the 7th, so it wasn't long after that, which seems weird because they were like clapping for her song at the end, and then it's only a few days later she's confessed to the murder, so yeah, they but, mustn't have known at that point, I'd imagine. But also like, we've seen, you know, they act real nice, mm. <laughs> Some, well, you know, sometimes. True, that's true. Like, we've seen ones who are like, oh, you know, it's all right, mate. And it's like, the guy who's murdered his girlfriend. <laughs> um, because they have to, you know, if yeah. trying to cooperate. Okay, see more you're in the way, but sit down. Sit down. No. No, Simon didn't play guitar. He wasn't very musical. They probably found a guitar and they're asking he why. He liked to listen, but mm. he was tone deaf. I reckon that's a hint for, like, if you hadn't found guitar already, it's a hint to search for guitar. Could be, yeah. But I just think that story's so thematic with the whole sister thing. It is. And jealousy. Like, the whole point is jealousy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's not like I was playing guitar. Ah, so that's like, she's okay. like, what? Why would you find a guitar? And then she's like, yeah, it's my guitar. So wait, that's actually worth so noting. She so had a guitar, but Eve's Hannah, playing a guitar. Oh, Seymour, you just got a wet nose right in the works. <laughs> um, Hannah owns guitar. Eve plays guitar. Is it the same guitar? No. Mm. Okay. Is that where we're going to stop? Yeah, I think like I could keep playing, but I'm just going to like lose concentration. Fear. It is going to be difficult to pick up again later, but... Well, I mean, we could always still stream before Thursday, if you want to keep it fresh. I mean, we'll see how we go. Got a lot on. Good man. Um, yeah, that's true. They all did it. <laughs> all the sisters did it. Still don't know if it's one or more people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not three. I'm pretty sure it's either two. Or it? One's been killed, and they're, like, assuming the identity of both. But I'm not sure why they would do that. Or uh, it's two sisters. But then, like, to get one the same thrown guitar, in prison, but then you go live your life as the other one. Yeah. But the Eve's the one that's confessed, so that wouldn't make sense. But it seems weird because they both have Eve a guitar. Eve was incriminating both of them. True. As well. But how is Eve going to get away, though? No, I don't think she was trying to. Mm. It's, yeah, but it's weird they both have a guitar. They both had Did the same story about confession? Glasgow. No, we didn't. <laughs> well, Confession, I think, only brought up that one that we tagged. Okay, fine. Um, but yeah, they both had the same Glasgow story, except slightly different mm. of the phone call. It, the crash was different. Crash mm. was different. They both had a mis... No, they both didn't have a miscarriage, did they? No. One had a miscarriage, the other one thought they were infertile. Well, they both thought they were infertile kinda, once, they, they, once she had the miscarriage. Hmm. Interesting. Well, what is, does this change now? Click refresh. This Maybe this is the timeline, and this is where we are in the timeline. Maybe. If I go... Wait, this is confession. So, it happened yeah, so that's quite close to the end, so that mm. must be how uh, it works. Okay, yeah. That so in, we've found one that's at the very end, though. Oh, I bet you that's the stories one. The one where she's yeah. like, we've been telling stories. That's all they are, is stories. I bet you that's that one. No, I'm, I'm curious. Let me find that. Have we even searched? Oh, God. This is oh, the, shit. Okay, we've got I was going to say, we haven't searched stories Okay, yet. I should stop. This is the last one, though, right? I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I know it's not. Nah. It's further in. There's eight re results. Okay, well, we've got stories. There's another one we can follow up on. I don't know if that's going to be that relevant, but... I mean, as I said, we've still got a bunch of people that we haven't looked up, and I've got a bunch of other keywords. Yeah, I don't know how many of the people are going to be that relevant. I think they'll give background info. They, yeah, they probably and will. And timeline info. So True. That'll be helpful. Oh, Seymour drawing all over my hand. Seymour, what the hell? Alright, I guess we'll finish here then. Is it, how do you save? 
I think it automatically saves, so hopefully we'll, so you were we'll find out. Think and, then I'm, and then just shut it. Like, <laughs> All right. Well, this has been pretty good. I've been enjoying this one. Yeah, I liked it. This is cool. It's a uh, very well done. Yeah, as I think Born you mentioned it when at when at one. Award for the game, award for best narrative, which I can kind of see how that would work. Because it's an interesting take on a narrative, because it's all like broken up. And you got to piece it together. Um, but yes, we will finish up here. Uh, I should be back tomorrow. Um, otherwise, tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the day after. Uh, doing movies tomorrow. Yeah, we're doing movies tomorrow, so it depends when we finish that. Um, but we'll get into. Something new, I would say, I think, well, maybe something new, maybe something old. Um, there was a poll. Maybe something borrowed, <laughs> maybe something blue. There was a poll for games, and I think Continuing Hitman was on there, and Continuing Tomb Raider Chronicles, both games we started and didn't finish. So, could be something old, could be something new. Um, but yeah, that is the plan. And then we'll continue this one either Thursday or like maybe we'll try to do one earlier so we're it's a bit fresh more fresh in our heads if, yeah we'll, we'll see we're keen to um I guess we will keep you in the loop either way no worries born thanks for hanging out good to see you as usual we finished rule of rose last week if anyone wants to go we watch did it that. was pretty good actually I was almost tempted to play that again um in one go yeah in like one go so I could get a better a better grasp on the story it was it was quite good just that combat was absolutely horrible so that kind of puts me yeah. off ever playing that game ever again um but yes thank you to everyone else who's watching too um and we will see you next time goodbye bye